Hi, this is Squat, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about wind signaling. Here's a wind molecule. It's a water insoluble. And a cell can secrete the wind, and this wind can travel, but not too far because it's insoluble, and uh, reach its uh, destination cell. Almost all cells can receive wind signal. And the wind signal works on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven two receptors at the same time. The first receptor is LRP, lipoprotein receptor related protein. This one is a G protein coupled receptor called frizzled. Wind molecule can bind to both of these receptors. This binding turns on the receptor. And this cell also has one, two, three, four, this last one is called beta catenin, and it is a transcription factor. And the other three are axin, GSK3, and APC. So this is axin, this is GSK3, and this one that's touching the beta catenin is the APC. Okay, axin, GSK3 work with APC, and the APC will hold beta catenin in place. But with the activated receptor, the axin GSK3 and APC will go to the receptor and uh, release the beta catenin. And this released beta catenin is going to now go to the nucleus and change gene expression. Two important genes that get transcribed because of beta catenin is cycling D and LG. R5. Cycling D is a cell cycle G1 checkpoint cycling that controls CDK4 and CDK6. So with high amount of cycling D, CDK4 and 6 can bind to the cycling D and help move that cell cycle checkpoint forward. And LGR5 is commonly found in stem cells. For example, in your gut, here's your gut crypt, and this is the Crypt stem cell and crypt stem cells have other cells right next to it and these cells next to it are called paneth cells and this in the center is the stem cell. The paneth cells of course secrete wind and then the stem cell is going to receive the wind. It's LRP frizzled activate and activation is going to recruit axon GSK through APC and these three will release beta catenin which is going to go to the nucleus to change expression. And one of the things that gets activated is LGR5. So this stem cell makes a lot of LGR5. So when people trace stem cells, they often use LGR5 to trace that cell's uh, progeny. And in cancer, this wind signaling is very important. And especially in the GI cancer, these cancers often have a problem in the APC. By the way, APC is not anaphase promoting complex that is used in the uh, M checkpoints. Rather, this is the adenoma polyp coli. So you can think of it like adenoma causing protein. So all these uh, GI cancers have problem with the APC. Because of the problem, the APC cannot hold on to beta catenin, who's free to go and activate cycling D, LGR5, and move the cell cycle forward uncontrollably. And beta catenin is also a protein that gets messed up in a lot of cancer. Usually is messed up in a way that it cannot be bound by APC. So the beta catenin is free to move around and get to the nucleus and again change the gene expression to make cell proliferative proteins. So overall, when signaling uses water insoluble molecule to act locally and most cells can receive wind signaling molecule. And these cells have LRP and a frizzle receptor which is a GPCR to bind to this uh, wind molecule. And because of the binding the axon GSK3 APC will release the beta catenin and the beta catenin goes into the nucleus to change the gene expression, resulting in production of many genes that drive the cell cycle forward.